By now you know the drill. Dark stormy night, big spooky castle, mad doctor going ape shit, giant perversion of science coming to life and breaking loose, etc, etc. Believe it or not, this violent 80s anime take on the classic tale has an unusually big heart, and an intense, melancholy tone that sets it apart from the rest. After his fateful encounter with life beyond death, for the Doctor, everything seemingly returns to normal. Alas, odd, twisted visions and nightmares refuse to let him go. And as bizarre, gruesome murders begin happening around town, Dr. Frankenstein realizes too late that some things never stay buried. Especially when you're dumb enough to rip them out of the ground and juice them up with 1.21 gigawatts. Driven to his wit's end, the doctor sets out to tie up all loose ends himself. But when emptying his gun into the monster with no desired effect, a frustrated Frankenstein flees while the monster hauls off in a rage. Yeah, homeboy kills a bear. For real. As all of this mayhem is unfolding, some Keystone cops are investigating the murders, and once they discover Frankenstein's discarded pistol at one of the crime scenes, they deduce the Doc may know more than he's letting on. Taking a page out of the Tammy Wynette songbook, Frankenstein's wife Elizabeth covers for his previous whereabouts with an alibi, even though she doesn't know the whole story herself. Seeking answers, she goes to visit Frankenstein's father, who was also, as it turns out, a disgraced scientist. Talk about a chip off the old block. Exhausted and in search of food, the monster crashes a wedding and sends that catering bill through the roof. As expected, this draws the attention of the police and the doctor who fruitlessly opened fire on the monster as he retreats into the wilderness. And while reflecting on his unwanted existence, unexpectedly finds God. It isn't long before the monster's whereabouts are discovered by the doctor and local town folk, though, and cue one part angry mob and one part raging fire. Things quickly spiral out of control, and it all leads to an unusually bleak, downbeat, and straight-up depressing outcome for everyone involved, even when compared to the source material standards. There's enough here to please fans of Mary Shelley's classic novel, or even Universal's classic film, but also enough to keep things fresh and worth your time. It figures that a Frankenstein cartoon from the 80s is more well-written than any Frankenstein story that Hollywood's turned out over the last few decades, isn't it? I missed him. Stay inside.